Okay. Good morning, everyone. I will be talking in English because I'm Belgium, and uh, mon français n'est pas tellement bien, donc uh, I will do it in English today. My name is Diego Dupont. I'm the founder and CVO, not CEO. It's a little bit the same. It's all about vision. Uh, we, we're, uh, we're thinking. We are a Belgian-French uh, startup company started in January 2020. Uh, also the winner of the Viva Tech uh, Awards here in Paris uh, last year. And uh, we are on the stand here just next to uh, number uh, 51. So everybody's talking about metaverse, multiverse, whatever. <laughs> Uh, multiverses, metaverses, cryptocurrencies, uh, NFTs, and so on, and so on, and so on. But what we see is that most of those metaverses who exist today or who are developing uh, at this point uh, of time are, g are based on game engines like Unreal Engine or Unity. Um, for example, the Sandra Land, I think we all know them. Uh, what we have to do there is uh, to create an account to sign in. So we have to download uh, uh, some stuff uh, to get into it. And most of the time, it takes some time for a lot of people. Then we have to create an avatar or something that does or has to look like us. And afterwards, we can go inside, have a walk, meet other avatars, uh, and look at some pictures, walk around find whatever we want to try to find, uh, and so on. So this is a little bit how we look at the metaverses that exist uh, today. But we all know that the game industry is a very big industry. It's bigger than the film industry and the music industry together. So it has a certain type of client, certain kind of visitors. What we try to do with uh, 3D World is to create something that looks photorealistic. And we are based on, let's say, three big points, like events, because we come from the event industry. E-commerce is very important for us, and also branding. With the respect for nature, of course, and the sale of virtual land, with, which gives an annual return for the land owners of 25%. Uh, percent. This is the map, the map we are building right now, starting at the central plaza. Which is, already, uh, which is ready at this time, with a lot of parcels around it, so people can buy virtual land. We are trying to find some tenants who will lease the land, and the income of the renting will go directly to the property owners. So this is a little bit how it looks like, um, what, what's the map about. So this will be the central plaza, with the central trade fair pavilion, in the middle of it. It's uh, where all the visitors arrive, of course. And all the buildings around it, like the Central Conference Pavilion, Ecoland, Innovation Pavilion, these are pavilions that are already sold, and they are working today. So a lot of conferences, we have had about 60 events the last year, with over more than uh, 2 million uh, visitors. So if you're talking about events, we have places for music events, where concerts, for example, can be streamed live or can be shown pre-recorded, where people can interact. Also, trade fairs, like this one, this is a French client. Um, trade fairs with integrated e-commerce, because we think that e-commerce is very important. It's getting higher and bigger and bigger all the time. And people, they must be able to buy uh, stuff uh, at, its, at these kind of trade fairs. Also corporate events, of course, for product presentations, and events for a large audience, like here, the Football Club of Bruges, with the stadium, the new stadium, stadium that they are building, with all the sponsors around it. We can go have a look at the cars, we can go inside the cars, see how the cars look like. We can also watch the, the game, go to uh, the fan shop, buy some stuff, and interact with other, uh, with other uh, visitors. Temporary, permanent exhibitions for models, influencers, um, photographer, photographers as well, artists, 
Um, and the e-commerce in our kind of events is very important. For example, this one here, this is a bookstore that we have built, Letterland. And the purpose there is that the visitors can enter the bookstore, they can click on a book, they can open the book, they can read a few pages, they can interact if they want on a certain moment with the author of the book. And this is what we are doing now in uh, April in Saint-Quentin, ici en France, uh, for a, a, book, a book event. We also have the export area. This is for the Flemish government. And the Lekkerland area is a German client who is selling everything about sweets, drinks, tobacco products, and food service. They have had this event for over, I think, six times in one year. And the plot is already sold, of course, because it's open. Second one is the Conway area. This is a Belgian client. And their clients, it's B2B sales, of course. They can enter the building. They can see the new product. They can order. Uh, they can watch product videos, interact with the sales reps, uh, and so on and so on. And we had oh, more than 2 million orders per year uh, in the last year on this event. Also, this one is sold, of course. Our biggest, biggest client is the European Commission with uh, Clean Sky. And this is something that we have built for them to get a, a greener aviation so people can watch the new airplanes, the airplanes of the future, uh, look at the new rotors from Rolls-Royce, etc., etc. So, also this plot is sold, of course. When we are talking about branding and advertising, when I have a look at some metaverses that are online today or are existing today, um, we don't see branding like this. This is not the kind of advertising or branding that we want to show. It has to be more photorealistic. So this is what we have done, for example, for Red Bull. So we have designed a Red Bull Formula One car so people can click on the tires and see what different kind of tires exist. What's the, uh, the thing of the wing? What, does it, uh, is it, was, what is it needed for? And so on and so on. Also, hot air balloons that are coming up at the Central Plaza uh, with the brands. New kind of chips where you can enter and see the new Pringles or the new Lay's uh, chips. You can, taste, you can taste them, of course. That's not, uh, that's not possible. Respect for the planet. In the whole environment, we have a lot of green zones. So these are zones for, let's say, forests, mountains, even beaches. And we have a French client here with the camping cars. Uh, and you can enter those camping cars, see a 360 uh, movie or 360 pictures of the inside. You can book, uh, let's say, uh, um, a test drive or have a, a meeting uh, of one of, with one of the, the, the clients of them. Everything is data driven, of course, because this is uh, very important. And I think we are one of the first who are rewarding visitors. So when people come to the platform and they have a look at a video or they click on something, we will reward them with points. And with, the, with these points, kind of tokens, they can uh, enter, uh, let's say, events where they have to pay, for example, like a concert or anything else. Uh, let's uh, just think of Tomorrowland, Belgian product, with more than uh, one million uh, visitors uh, each year. So the USPs for 3D World, photorealistic, of course. It's very important for us and the type of clients that we have. Uh, um, we have an unlimited number of users. What I see, and I've visited a lot of events in the metaverse with avatars and so on, is that sometimes it gives some problems because not anyone has good internet. If you look at here today, the Wi-Fi is not so good when you are with a lot of people. And if you have to create your, meta, your um, let's say, your um, uh, avatar as well, it gives some problems. It takes some time. And once you enter, the only thing that you see is avatars. If you want to look around and see uh, a boot or anything else, there are 20 avatars before of, in front of you. And that gives a lot of problems. So 
let's say multiplayer is okay, but we think that the technology as of today is not ready. It's not ready for that. So we want to try to work with what is ready, what functions, and, and doesn't give a problem. That's uh, one of our USPs. Of course, GDPR proof. We are still in Europe, so we have to uh, look what we do with the data, of course. And we see the creation of a lot of new jobs, eh? like meta, uh, meta architects, uh, for example. Um, so this is a little bit how uh, 3D world looks like uh, as of today. Um, photorealistic, a lot of uh, functionalities, but functionalities that are really important. So, thank you. If there are any questions, please shoot. Yeah, just a basic question. Uh, why? <laughs> why does it have to be so realistic? I see. So our cars, uh, bicycle lanes, uh, sidewalks, everything is made of concrete and glass buildings. Um, why this choice? Well, it depends on the type of clients, the type of users that you want in your environment. And what we see, if it is the purpose for a client to, to sell products, they want it to be photorealistic. This is how our clients are really uh, thinking. Um, we don't see, it's a little bit B2B. Uh, it's a lot of B2B clients that we have. And we have tried just one time to work with avatars, and they didn't like it. I like it, you like it, and a lot of people like it, of course, maybe. But we want to be different and work with the technology that is stable today. And we don't see our clients um, create an avatar, walk in, try to interact with other avatars. This is not the purpose. The purpose is to, to see things as they are, and to be able to buy them. Because we have seen, I've been in some metaverses today, um, and let's say the best thing that I have seen is um, movies on the wall. And that's it, movies and pictures. For example, if you go to the center and then you want to visit, I think it's Sotheby's that goes in there, and you can see the auctions that are held when you click on an ocean, on an auction, you get outside. You leave the platform, and you are on the website of Sotheby's. That's not what we want to do. We want to stay in the platform and try to get these auctions in the platform so you don't have to leave. For example, also for the, let's say, the video calls that are held between, between people, because there, there is a lot of interaction, um, they are held in the platform, so you don't have to go to Zoom or to Teams or go to live, live webinar or whatever. You stay in the platform the whole time. And this is how we get the visitors inside. I think this is very important for our type of clients, of course. Any more questions? Yes? Yeah, I seen in your in your, um, in your world every, everything looks not not the same. But uh, if uh, it has been created by the, the same kind of uh, designers, we are not able to design our own things because I know when we give uh, power to the user, it will look uh, very in very different ways. How do you keep the, the the things looking the same? You design the the whole thing. You have. For, for example, if I have, no, maybe not you, but if I want to open my shop, I can design it by myself. I have to ask the people from your company to do that or, or not. You can, you can design it yourself if you want. If you are capable to do it, you can have it designed by someone else. It can be us. It doesn't have to be us for, uh, uh, for sure. But the, the purpose is that it's built in, let's say, um, with the specifications so we can integrate it in our platform. Because what, what we see a lot is that people are buying virtual land 
and then they have to try to build something on it. You must be a designer or a developer to do that. So that's why we see a lot of land that is already bought. It's still empty. You can see a plant and a dog walking and maybe a tree, and that's it. So some, some kind of, let's say, some stuff is already built and looks nice with the, 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 the possibilities of these design programs. So within here, if you want to, to rent a plot and build, uh, let's say, the, the Louvre, huh? the, the pyramid that we all know, if you are capable of building it, and it can be integrated in our platform, we can do it. That's no problem. So you are not, uh, let's say, uh, it doesn't have to be built by us. It can be built by anyone. We have clients, uh, for example, in Spain. They have a lot of uh, good 3D designers in Spain. Let them do it. It's their, uh, it's their taste. It's not ours. So it can be very different. And I think this is very important as well, because otherwise it would be all the, the same style. That's not what we are aiming for. Yes. Okay. Um, actually, I have two questions for you. Uh, the first one is, um, what are the main challenges that you have made uh, on the metaverse, on those projects? And the second point is, what is the key differentiators uh, for your customers to go, for example, to switch on a virtual store instead of a physical store? How do you convince them today to take the step? OK, OK. You must know that we come from events, from the event industry, and that we have had a lot of trade fairs as of today. Yes? Let's say due to COVID, there were a lot of event organizers not only trade fairs, but also organizers of conferences, trade shows, whatever, who weren't capable or able to organize en présentiel. Voilà, ça c'est mon français. Um, what, what we try to do is to th think, well, what is the purpose of your event? Or what is the purpose of your store? Okay? So if the purpose of your event is selling as much as possible, you have to have an integrated, not an external, but an integrated um, e-commerce system that is stable, first of all, and that is easy to use for the visitors. So this is something that we have built for our very first client, who is called Conway. And it was very difficult to build it, because you could order two trays of Coca-Cola and one tray of Sprite, and you get one tray of Fanta for free. And there were a lot of actions, a lot of promotions, uh, and it was always different. So the purpose there was to build something that's stable and to give as a lot of experience possible for those type of clients, because you have to look at the visitors as well. So it, doesn't, it couldn't be too much fancy, fancy, fancy experience, 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 because the purpose was selling, OK? But to give as much uh, visuals, nice pictures, nice movies as possible. So when we are looking at, for example, um, at Conway, at this, this client, we have seen that the very first time that they organized this event, yeah, they had 60% more visitors than they had on the live event. Easily, because anyone could come. We weren't, uh, let's say, stuck to the three days in one event hall like this. We could organize it for three weeks. That first of all. Secondly, they had a lot, of, a lot more exhibitors, because they didn't have to pay thousands of euros for some square meters. They didn't have to provide people to get on the boot. They didn't have to provide all the technical stuff for a few days. So, and they had to pay less. And the third part is the most important part. There were more than 50% more, than more orders. So if they, they look at these three advantages, and they look at what's the cost of a physical event, and all the time we have to spend for it, 
they say, okay, we want to do, we want to do it virtually. We are organizing, let's say, in life as well, but not in the big uh, venues, but a little bit smaller, with just the top of our clients, the VIP clients, uh, and we have more time, better food, better catering, and we have more time for each other. And this is the hybrid model, model that they want to integrate, and they have integrated yet. Already for the ninth time in one and a half years. So for a shop, it's a little bit, it's a little bit the same. You have to look at what you want to do and what's the best uh, platform to do it. I don't say it's this one. There are a lot of platforms. But maybe some clients like this ki these kind of uh, visuals and whatever, and functionalities, or they want others. I don't know. Um, when you say the platform is uh, re respectful of the planet, what do you mean? Is it okay. just uh, green spaces or do you use a special technology? What, what, what we do, it's a good question of course. What we do is we are not on the blockchain. Huh? Um, and let's say all the, the carbon that we are, let's say, comment on appelle ça en français? L'équivalence, voilà, c'est ça. We, we are compensating it with planting trees. So we see for each event and for each environment what's the, the carbon uh, that we are uh, uh, making. And then for this equi equivalent, we are planting trees. So we are zero carbon company. Thank you. Hello, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I have a question about performance, because you show us some pre-calculated uh, pictures, and you tell us you have a lot of clients uh, in one world. Um, Photorealistic is a really um, meaning issues when you show an entire world with that. Um, what's about performing and performance um, and uh, Currently, how many clients are you able to build in one world? That's my question. Thank okay, you. good question as well. Um, you must know that as of today, I will holding, be holding wood, we have never been one second out. So what we do is, if we are looking at the central plaza, for example, with the six buildings around it, so these are, let's say, six different kind of renders, huh? And once we go to one environment, for example, the Central Trade Fair Pavilion, we are on a different URL than, for example, the Central Concert Pavilion. So we work with different URLs. You as a visitor, you won't see unless you look at uh, the, 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 URL, uh, the URL name. But that's the kind of way that we are dividing our visitors on multi, multiple, uh, multiple platforms. But you can't see it, and you won't notice it as well. And as of, let's say, the number of uh, clients of the, or the numbers of visitors that we have, we have had events with more than 60,000 people uh, on the same time. So on the same time, that means on the millisecond that they are clicking. So we do a lot of, let's say, a lot of um, load testing to see how far we can go, and we are going further and further and further. So it's divided on se several, uh, let's say, several URLs. And that's, just di that's how we can divide uh, the people uh, into different places. OK. Voilà. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. I'm stabbing at the shadow I'm not gonna be 
I'm not afraid to die.